Look at this beautiful, 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 fresh Gambian grown thyme. Okay, some beautiful carrots. Huh? Can you see the similarity between the two in color? They almost look like their brother and sister. Okay. Some fresh onions here from Armanti. Some bay leaves over here. And then some lime. Hooray. Well, this was what I call lime. Some lime here left. Hooray. So the first thing we do is this. Uh, we're going to take a small bowl over here. Okay. And in our small bowl, we're going to do three things. Okay. We're going to take some of this fresh thyme here, over here, some fresh thyme, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it, okay? So I'm going to take some of this fresh thyme, okay? Bring it all together in a bowl, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to grate some orange zest and we're going to grate some lime. The skin of the turkey with it now, the skin between the flesh and the skin, that cavity, we're going to stuff it, okay? <laughs> Ali's brought us over here this wonderful turkey. Yes. All right, Oli, now just grate this orange over here. Here, I'll give you some space. We grate the orange. There we are, the nice big turkey. Okay, so that's what we're doing. No, we want to grate it in there. All right, go ahead. So uh, what we're doing today, as you well know, we're taking some fresh thyme. Now puts a little bit more. Uh, fresh thyme, throwing in some grated orange skin, orange zest. And as well, we're going to send in some, um, uh, grate some lime in there, okay? What I advise you to do is turn your uh, oven onto 170 or for between 170 to 190 degrees centigrade or gas mark five. Gas mark five. For every 450 grams of weight in Turkey, which means for every British imperial pound in weight, 450 grams metric, you need 18 minutes of cooking time. Just a teaspoon of olive oil. You, you might think, you know, this Dries, you know, he's just so simple. Everything is so easy and simple. Well, look, I tell you, there's no thing better than simple food because it's good food. It's straightforward food. You get the flavors in your mouth as you should. Oli, we ready? Okay, what we've done here is we've put about a, a tablespoon of sesame oil. But start with a teaspoon and then put a second and then put a third until you have enough of that knotty aroma, that knotty. Not that knotty, that knotty like knots. Yeah, like not the other knots, the real knots, yeah? Okay, there we are. Oli, shall we put that in? Yeah. There we are. Can I pour that juice to Oli? Because it can't evaporate. Okay, that's it, we're ready. This is gonna fry for maybe about another five minutes. That's it, at the most. You know, with shrimps, you don't want to overcook it because you lose the flavor and it becomes rubbery, hard and tough. Take some parsley, throw it in, some nice fresh parsley there. And the job is done. Oli, we ready? That's it, all done. Very fast, take a look at how beautiful this is on the, on the pan. Very fast, very, very easy. But you know, everything that's gone in there is correct. All the ingredients, the quality of the product, the prawn itself is superior quality. Uh, everything there is perfect. There we have our green pro uh, grilled prawn starter. Now this starter is supposed to be actually presented on a bed of salad with tomatoes, cucumber, and a thousand island uh, dressing, which is made from Armanti mayonnaise, Armanti ketchup, and some Worcester sauce. But I won't do that for the very simple reason that this product is already good as it is. Thank you very much. Bon appétit. Well, there we are. We've got Fuzia in the house. Fuzia, would you like to try this, please, and tell us what you think? Go ahead. Use your finger. This is a grilled prawn starter. And be honest with us. Tell us what you really think about this product. If it tastes good, what it tastes like, what, what sensations you get from it. 
That's all I can say. It's nice and juicy and yummy. <laughs> she says it's juicy and it's yummy, and that sums up everything she can say. And I think she's right because you can't say anything more than something's juicy and yummy. Hooray! We've got a satisfied customer here. Thank you very much. Let's go, 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 go,